Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, March 17th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today? March 17th. March 17th. What does the viewer want to need to see and hear? What does the viewer need to see and hear for today? Okay, so first one's out. Uh, sanctuary. Building that sense of security for yourself. Setting boundaries. Um, only letting good things in, you know, keeping off um, any kind of negative energies um, and then intentions. So this is a good time to really recognize those things you really want, uh, the things that you're trying to manifest for yourself. Uh, and then you have um, thought. So maybe you're contemplating new things, discovering new things about yourself in in a quiet form maybe through meditation or just unplugging yourself from electronics or any kind of devices um this is really that gives you it gives you that sense of security with the sanctuary and intention it gives you that peace to really know what it is that you're trying to create and with the innocence i love it because this is that sense of you know taking that leap of faith and not really being stagnant in in your energy really trying to create a new beginning for yourself whether that is you know reinventing yourself as a whole um or maybe environment or society kind of changes with this card which gives you that sense of a new beginning um so really there's that sense of uh starting over with something Maybe you're just getting to figure out how you really work um, by thinking and meditating and changing things about yourself. The bottom of the deck is strength. And this is where you feel like you have everything, like you can take on anything. Um, it's, it's a very powerful feeling, but yet very soothing and somewhat peaceful. Um, and then guardian angels. So you do have protectors. Um, angels are everywhere. Uh, and if you need any questions answered, you sit down quietly and you ask and they will show you signs. OK, so very nice energy, really setting you up, setting you up for perhaps uh, a reinvention of your life or your environment, something like that. So welcome so much uh, for being here. And I do appreciate you guys taking time every day and uh, being here with me please like share and subscribe so let's see what these mean for you in a more detailed state okay so let's see i want to know for the viewer what is that sanctuary i feel almost like yeah like it sort of all wants to pop out but almost that sense of um maybe you've set some boundaries for for yourself you know uh, protecting yourself okay so the fool um, and it's very much taking that leap of faith uh, down a new path, not really caring what others are thinking about you or um, maybe just seeing yourself in a whole new light. OK, maybe you've done some work with your chakra, you know, your solar plexus, you know, allowing you to feel and to be creative and almost that sense of innocence, definitely starting over. OK, uh, you have the three of pentacles. And this is telling you, um, you know, if you have some kind of impatientness about yourself, um, know that you're headed towards the right direction. I see you rebuilding a, a foundation, um, something that can be strong and sturdy for you. Um, and then the others will come. You know, if you've been in a place where you've tried to make things work, and perhaps the the people in your environment or, um, you know, environment or society or something like this haven't quite worked with you. It's almost as if you're tuning yourself into that frequency and you definitely know what works better for you. So you're rebuilding here. Three of Pentacles is a great card um, uh, as far as re reforming yourself. Um, seeing outside of the box and building something better for yourself. Um, you know, it, it's almost like that sense of mastering something. You got the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups. So have you mastered something about yourself? 
as far as you recognizing that you might not fit in in a situation and you're pulling yourself out of it because maybe there's no emotional attachment to it. Perhaps you are going back to a simpler form with the Six of Cups being more harmonized within yourself. That's when you become this sort of being of um, alignment, being aligned in your mind, body, and spirit. It's almost like you just become this kind of being that nothing really touches you, you know, uh, protected. Um, three of Pentacles, are you leaving something that hasn't quite... Uh, you know, grown in the way that you wanted it to, or maybe you've recognized the sense of those not working with the same, uh, like almost like whoever you've been working with or dealing with, they don't quite seem to your tune anymore. You know, um, you got the two of pentacles in reverse. So maybe you've come to a choice that maybe you, you have to set boundaries Let's see what this one is as well. You see, Eight of Cups, and I put it back in there and I shuffled. You're walking away from something, maybe indecision. A place where you've been um, not emotionally fulfilled, okay? Whether this is a family, that you, a family unit you've been trying to uh, get to pair up to you. Whether it's a job, you know, with co-workers, bosses that have kept you unstable. I feel like this is where you take that leap of faith and start new. Um, the Two of Pentacles is really, I feel like that is that energy of um, breaking free of indecision. And I do feel it's something that um, with the Three of Pentacles, I think you've recognized what has worked for you in the past and what is not working for you now. Um, and that gives you the ability to change things now for your future, okay? Um, it's almost as spirit has sort of pulled you in this sense of, um, uh, you know, um, forced you to see something that was imbalanced for you. Uh, and it gives you the sense of um, handling several situations at once, Um so it's almost like you've left this place of, I can't handle this, I can't handle that. And for a long time, it kept you in a place of, of uh, you know, like a deadlock, you know. Uh, but now it's almost like you're going forward and, and feeling like you have confidence and you can handle multiple situations, you know. Um, so this is because you're becoming aligned with you is what I feel here. And perhaps you've had to sort of put some kind of boundaries against negative forces because there is something here with the eight of cups you're walking away from that hasn't quite been emotionally fulfilling for you what is the two of pentacles in reverse two of pentacles in reverse um the five of swords and that three of swords wow that's big that is actually you maybe surrendering to guilt or pain or um, maybe just giving in to the fact that um, um, you can't change other people, but you can change yourself. And that gives you a win, okay? That gives you that sense of, like, like you just don't, no negativity is attaching to you at this time, okay? Maybe you're choosing between partners if it comes to that um, energy of the three of swords where there's a third party situation or um, maybe being stuck in the wrong relationship or the wrong job it's like you're deciding to handle the situation rather than staying in that dead lock hold you know um so yeah you could uh, actually get this kind of um information coming into you um like a message is what i see um, maybe a, a message that you've been wanting to give, but really holding back on. I feel like this is that sense of surrendering to that, maybe ending a separation, um, maybe ending, um, and it could be a separation with you and yourself, like as far as your intuition and, you know, God and the spirituality, it could be a, a separation between you and another person. I definitely do feel like there's something pulling you to 
um, be emotion, emotionally fulfilled in something, okay? What is the Eight of Cups? The Eight of Cups, please. What's the Eight of Cups here? What is the Eight of Cups? So, and see, this is where I get that feeling with the Nine of Wands, that sort of feeling of maybe you have a bit stable in your own skin. Maybe you've let others sort of dictate what you're supposed to do um maybe you've been separated from your your higher self and the sense of having angels and god around you to help you i definitely do feel like this is where you're taking charge in that uh you could be allowing yourself to leave the past to start over to take charge in something um and I feel like this is coming in quickly from a place where maybe you've held on to stagnant energy or to that kind of um, indecisive kind of feeling. Okay. Uh, three of Pentacles. Give me one more for the Three of Pentacles here. Three of Pentacles, please. Three of Pentacles. See, you're healing, you're recognizing, you're learning, and it's setting you up for a new beginning with the Fool. No matter what age you are, it's as if with the fool, you become this this giddy kind of person, this sort of playful kind of person. And when you become like that, <clears throat> everything heals. There's no negativity that is stuck on you. And it's because you're putting yourself first. That's what they're saying for whoever this is. There's definitely that sense of balance and alignment. If you're struggling with this, this might be what is holding you back, you know. Um, to change things you might have to surrender to something could be surrendering to spirit could be surrendering to perhaps maybe the person you love um, maybe even just surrendering to yourself so you can heal you know um, yeah definitely I want to know give me one for the three of swords what is this three of swords energy um, it's like you're tired of being upside down you know and things are going to start changing quickly here in the sense of healing, abundance, prosperity, having some kind of triumph over something, okay, that hasn't been working for you. Um, what is the Three of Swords? Yeah, you're taking charge against that. Whatever that Three of Swords could be for you, whether it's just being boggled with depression, anxiety, heartbreak, it, it's almost like you're overpowering that energy and you're taking control with the Emperor. And like I said, if you haven't got to this point this is an indication of the things that you need to work on is what spirit is saying okay and i do see a positive sort of um ending happening here with the sun it's a triumph it's a sense of success rebirth you know rejuvenation and it will start taking effect quickly um especially if you've kept yourself in this state of not wanting to deal with it and lingered more in pain and hurt it's like you're releasing it okay and that's actually a, a very um a very good energy to to have or to let in and i do see somebody here taking charge and becoming more stable within their foundation uh what is the intention so maybe you've been focusing on the things that you're attracting you could have been attracting negative things for a long time. And now it's almost as if you're learning how to manifest. You're learning what you need to put out there, you know. Um, three of Cups and the Five of Wands. So from a state of, of lingering on to conflict and perhaps competition and uh, people in your environment that create any kind of havoc for you. It's almost as if you're tuning into you with the three of cups celebrating versus like celebrating life instead of celebrating um, conflict or defeat or animosity. It's like you're turning your face against it. And now I definitely do feel like there's that sense of, um, <coughs> excuse me, trying to create balance and peace within yourself. Okay. Um, the Three of Cups is really um, telling you there is success, there is abundance coming. Good luck. I've been hearing good luck and fortune in the past week, so get ready to um, have things turn around for you if you've been struggling, you know? Especially if it's workplace, even family situations, I feel will tend to get better at this time. 
and really stay true to your intention and allow abundance and victory and, and fortune to come to you. I definitely do feel with the Three of Cups, it's a sense of um, feeling hospitable in your own soul. You know, once you start vibrating on a really high level, you really avoid conflict. And so your intentions that you're putting out are being paid back to you in the form of balance and perhaps reuniting. You know, you could use the Three of Cups as reuniting, um, maybe with a lost love or even with just yourself, you know, becoming pure, okay? Five of Wands. So you could have people in your life that have caused a lot of drama for you. And this is where you're putting down those wands and not paying attention to it. And that's going to create balance for you. Um, five of Wands could be competition as well. Um, page of Wands. You got the Page of Swords, the World the lovers wow the four of wands and the um six of cups i feel like so many came out right there but those are the ones i want to take um my gosh are you giving in to something that um it, it's almost like you know what it feels like it feels like you're finally giving in to goodness i mean these are positive cards the world the lovers the wands four of wands and the six of cups like it's almost like you're surrendering yourself to allow yourself to have you know happiness a new cycle maybe choosing love choosing the one you love or just choosing happy situations in your life perhaps this is where you'll you'll marry coming to a commitment you know get into that right devotion that right partnership you know it's stability and the Six of Cups, is this you returning to that love? Is this you returning to that kindred spirit? Um, it also could be where you're returning to yourself as a whole. Um, and it could be a time in your life where you were younger, you know, where things were simpler, um, where things were not as complicated. So you have to take it as it resonates because there's so much going on for so many of you. This is a general reading, but... I do get the sense of searching for that with the Page of Swords, soul searching. There you go. They're saying soul searching. And the Page of Wands gives you that energy to let go of conflict. Perhaps you've been in an, envir an environment that doesn't allow this kind of peaceful state to happen for you. But I think you're surrendering to it. In other words, you've put up a boundary of the negative stuff and you're stepping up to the game and really creating happiness for yourself you're allowing this connection to come together it's a twin flame connection for some of you making that choice to be with that twin flame or that soulmate you know that kindred spirit taking it to a different level i think you got the energy and that burst of um, acknowledgement to go forward with something and so this is really spirit and God telling you not to give up on this three of cups which is maybe that reuniting of of you and that loved one or that reunion of your soul your your soul that maybe has taught you lessons you know um and that lesson is to allow good things to come in for you so i feel like this is that sense of re reciprocity you know um balance you've learned how to manifest balance in your life okay which is absolutely beautiful um and i think that with the page of swords and the page of wands this is where you start to communicate for yourself and you stand up for yourself and you know what you want and you go out and you grab it. You don't stay in conflict and sort of heartbreak or separation or, you know, where you dwell on the past pain. This is where you allow it to come in. And this is definitely a look at your future um, with the world. This is your future that's coming in for you. So I see a choice of love. I see that choice of committing to a new devotion. And perhaps it's somebody from the past, okay? So you have to take it as it resonates. I do see good things coming for you. So really, um, just hold on to that vision. And with the intentions, you have a vision of what you want. And you will create it for yourself. What is the thought? Which I feel this thought is that meditative state. 
this meditation i have told many people this when you meditate it allows you to think clear it allows you to make less mistakes and it allows you to have inner peace and guidance and that's how important manifestation is for you when you meditate um if you're struggling and you're in that same cycle this is god telling you like you have the power to change it um definitely i do feel like um with this card right right here that strength is trying to come out to the surface for you and when you get the strength and power it's like you can do anything but you won't get that strength and power unless you take time and disconnect from everything and meditate this for yourself okay um it does make you think clear and it doesn't um it doesn't allow for mistakes to come into your life because you're very um you're very uh cautious about things you know you listen to your gut really um what is the thought and i'm telling you meditation has been coming up since last week that is because we are shifting from the 3D and going to the 5D. So what happens to the 4D? It's happening very quickly, you see. And so um, I think that our consciousness is shifting as a whole universe, you know. Um, so let's see here. See, you want peace in your life. You want balance, uh, security. The, the, the feeling of anything can happen. The feeling of you can manifest greatness, whether you want to become a famous star or just get all your wishes that you want. This is what happens with the star. It creates balance within yourself, okay? And the temperance, really having patience for yourself. So if you keep going back to the same cycle, Spirit is saying, have patience, you know? Maybe there's that sense of ne needing to let go of any kind of um, any kind of uh, conflict or, you know, trauma or drama from other people, whatever that is for you. Have patience with yourself and recognize that you're moving forward little by little. OK, and so definitely follow that intuition, that new path, the new the new things that you want to start for yourself. Don't be scared to start them. We're coming to this place where everything's going to change dramatically, okay? Um, I think I've focused on this before, and they're trying to get me to go down that path again, um, where we're starting to be more about humanity and not so much about material. Um, and that's where prosperity will come in on, like, a worldwide level, you know? Um, so I feel like if you're trying to start a new career, you take that path with the Knight of Wands. You take action with that new that new invention or creative thought that's coming in for you. Um, if this is you taking yourself out of battles with other people or just situations that keep making you go down the same circle, the same path, this is where you allow this to change for you through meditation. Um, I hope that makes sense for you. I hope I said it right. Uh, it's just what they're sort of throwing at me today. Um, I want to know what is the Knight of Wands? Maybe the Knight of Wands is also that passion of that person that wants to come back into your life because this is a male, this is a male masculine energy of that arousal about that passion, you know? Um, so what is the Knight of Wands? What is the Knight of Wands? Maybe your masculine has woken up to their karmic justice, you know, releasing a karmic partner or releasing a karmic situation for them, you know. Um, what is the Six of Wands? Six of Wands. So some kind of karmic justice is, is following, okay? Six of Wands. So the strength, courage. Um, and here again, we see work done as far as chakras, as far as spirituality, um, that really tamed the beast for you, you know. You're not latching on to drama or... A gossip or the lies that have been told to you you know this is you really um finding your power and your strength what is the temperance what is the temperance please the temperance okay so you have the four of cups you know this is that energy of being patient with yourself things haven't worked out but don't focus on the negative things 
focus on the new things. So perhaps letting go of the past with this four of cups, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, and really accepting the gift of, of new newness. Okay. New situations, new gifts. This is also a card of not settling. Um, you know, so I feel that there's that sense of letting go of karma, karma, uh, bad karma. Okay. Uh, in the strength card, I'm sorry, the, the star card. Okay. Um, the 10 of wands and it came out in reverse. So that is beautiful because all the things that you've been holding on to, and maybe you felt like you couldn't, um, let go of them. Um, I feel like you're starting to get to the point where you know which way to drive yourself. Um, really focus on the passions that are driving you. Not so much the things that are drawing other people to you or maybe you holding on to other people um, for strength. It's, it's almost like you hold on to yourself, okay? Um, I do feel like this is, um, for some of you, especially with the, the Justice and the Ten of Swords in, in reverse, it's like... Um, Maybe you have a pending lawsuit, which could be a pending divorce that leaves you, that takes you from a place of settling and being stuck. Um, this is also where, um, you know, there's like that sense of maybe you're thinking that you won't win, you know, so this is where you have to change it around. Uh, for some of you, you're stuck in a court battle. Um, so at this point, you have to meditate and really focus on turning this ten of wands upright so that you can let go of the baggage you can let go of the stress and the burden okay um yeah maybe this is also that sense of it's it's causing you it's causing you to separate from um things that have been hard for you or things that have kept you from some kind of balance okay so I see a lot of happening um, for a lot of different people, um, but definitely being patient with you. And if there's things that are not working, I'm telling you, quieting, it, quieting down, manifesting and meditating, it'll help you to go towards the right direction, okay? And maybe you've discovered this now, and that's how things are going to start happening for you. I do see a some negative cards here, but I also see very positive cards that are gonna override all the negativity okay and so what is the innocence what is this new beginning uh, your your spirit is sort of being guided towards stability what i see in this card is stability the sense of getting things right maybe a connection coming together uh maybe this is where you start to grow that new business or that new way of thinking about about yourself excuse me um, so I feel like your soul is so much, some, somewhat guiding you to these new things that maybe you've been afraid to take on or it's just an opening just hasn't happened. But I feel the door is opened, okay? What is the innocence? What is the innocence? So pay attention to those symbols that you're getting. Um, you know, dreams, symbols, animals visions that you're getting anything like that see that is leading you towards a, a renewal um really letting go of the past anything that's hurtful or kept you stagnant for a long time this is you allowing yourself to release something so you can start growing again and innocence is really that beginning okay so things haven't ended for you you're just beginning a new cycle um the death card Ooh, maybe an offer of love. You got the Page of Swords, the Page of Wands, and now the Page of Cups. Is this an offer of love? Maybe um, maybe this is an offer you're getting. Maybe this is the choice to give that offer to somebody. And you're not holding back anymore is what I feel. Um, what is the Page of Cups? Page of Cups, please. Maybe it is that, that partnership, you know? taking a relationship to the next step for some of you creating peace and harmony not focusing on on the negative so really learning from duality the the good and the bad having there's always going to be good and bad things that happen to you but don't focus on the bad because a lot of times we 
only tend to focus on the bad, not the good things. So this is balancing those energies. This is a solo driver here with a chariot. This is somebody who's taking action. This is somebody who knows where they want to go. They've been sort of anointed by God or the higher spirits, you know, waking up to your higher self here. There's a sense of protection with this as well, which is allowing you to really start over, okay, with that page of cups. So new love, maybe this is you setting yourself up to, to receive this love from somebody, okay? New love, this right here, okay? Taking action, really moving. Um, from a place of being stagnant, meaning not being able to move, you're going to move quickly and then come to rest really fast because you're going to be at peace, okay? That's what the Eight of Wands is saying today. So look out for, for some kind of communication, some kind of messages that's going to bring you to the state of love, okay? All roads here are leading to love. Oh my gosh, I love this reading. It's absolutely beautiful um, energy, okay? And like I said, if this hasn't taken... Um, you know, if it's not showing itself yet, because I do see the high priestess here, which means this all could be hidden from you. And so when things are hidden from you, you tend to maybe dwell on the negative. Okay. And that's definitely where, with the chariot is playing, is taking hand here. Um, you could be focusing on the negative, not the positive. And if things are happening on below the surface and you're not seeing them happen, you sort of could let yourself go towards the darkness you know that's what i'm saying it's like things are happening but you're not you're not seeing them yet but this is what's going to come to fruition for you if you stay balanced okay and have this sort of with the high priestess it's a knowing it's sort of something that um i think spiritually is growing inside of you to know that you're going towards balance even though you haven't quite seen it yet so continue to build a sanctuary. That means boundaries for yourself. Continue to be really, um, you know, be firm on your intentions. Know what you truly want. Give yourself time to meditate every day, even if it's just five minutes, five, ten minutes. That's all it takes, okay? Play some kind of music like I'm playing right now and just focus on the things that you're trying to create. And really allow yourself to receive that new innocence, that new beginning, okay? Even though if it hasn't showed itself on in your, in your face yet, it's going to happen. Um, the high priestess, please. The high priestess. So, um, see, you're being enlightened to put all the negativity to rest, okay? To allow yourself to feel protected, um, to regain energy, to rejuvenate. Um, really contemplating um, and really really allowing things to come in for you. The Four of Swords puts to rest things, okay? Um, and it's really that sense of maybe um, being enlightened in order for you to put things to rest. Um, the hangman, please, the hangman. So maybe a period of waiting is over. That's definitely what I feel here. A period of waiting is over for some. You got the Queen of Cups. Uh, follow your intuition. You've been enlightened. Uh, and this Queen of Cups is going to lead you towards that new beginning. Okay. Um, perhaps letting go of the past. And starting over with the King of Cups. Okay. So um, I do feel like this is an al alignment for somebody. Okay. Uh, for two somebodies really. Okay. Um, so I want to know how does this energy end for today? The energy for today. How does it end? What's the conclusion, Spirit? What is the conclusion? And I always pray for you guys. And I do pray that God will give me the message that you need to hear every day. You know, I pray for you guys. Some of you I know. Some of you I don't know. Um, the Empress really manifesting. Being in your power. Knowing that you will triumph. Knowing that things will get better for you. And hold on to that. Don't let anybody steer you the wrong way. You're headed towards greatness there with the Empress, okay? And that is a feminine energy. Um, so perhaps the masculine and the feminine energy are coming together to create balance. And there's the Emperor. Holy crap. Wow. You got the Emperor and the Empress. I'm telling you, there's two people here. 
maybe you didn't see eye to eye before, you know? Um, but I definitely do feel like this is that tailspin that's bringing you back to a beginning, to that sense of being able to start again. Um, beautiful, really. Uh, what else? Taking control, guys. Stability. Growing together. It's a three and a four. It's consecutive. Um, stability. Um, that's all that wants to come out. Okay. I feel for whoever that is, you're becoming balanced enough to come back together. If that's what it is you're trying to manifest. This is divine feminine. This is divine masculine. Really? Wow, guys. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's see. What was the karmic cycle here? What was the karmic cycle? How will it end for them? Um, so thieving okay this is where you forgive yourself for maybe holding yourself back in this place of not receiving maybe doing things wrong to other people maybe you've stuck to a relationship that just you knew you were supposed to get out of and in in a, in a sense it took things from you it took time i think that this is you surrendering to that and allowing yourself to be joyful, reunion, I feel, coming together. Holy crap, yes, look, it's a reunion, celebrating. Um, whoever this is for you, whether it's you or them, you held back from this love or this connection because there was fear. And in a sense, you cheated yourself by staying in something that wasn't working. Three of Swords, Five of Swords, Nine of Wands five of of wands like i think it's time to release it really and like i said if this hasn't happened for you this is a message of staying firm with your intention and your manifestation and it's going to get better it's going to lead you to this place mm -hmm. okay um so i want to know what is the chakra message with this reading the chakra message with this reading please what is the chakra message with this reading okay so it is the soul lesson surrender so your sacral chakra okay um this takes away all the conflict this allows you to rebuild um these are the things that you just never thought you could get rid of or balance out in your life um, and there is change. There's definitely change coming with that because it's a soul lesson, okay? Um, what is the universal message, please? Universal message. What is the universal? Okay, so my fearless freedom lights up the world. And yes, we do. The more of us wake up and, and um, really find your light and your energy, uh, the more we heal and that's why i feel it's like a world on a world mass scale where if we meditate to the light we really help us but you also help others if that makes sense okay uh we're all connected there you go they're saying we're all connected and it is true through light and energy um so what is the insight please what is the insight okay it fell down okay so Movement is medicine. Yes, it is, guys. It's not that pill you pop in your mouth or that shot you're taking. Is Medicine is light, okay? Um, movement, medicine. You were not created to be sed sedentary. Movement allows you to release energy and become one with the flow of life. So dance, run, shake, jump, or move in a way that feels right um i feel like you've been held back from it you know maybe you've been in a toxic situation um that really moved you into depression for a long time for some of you this is really that sense of using your own energy to heal okay with that right there i hope that makes sense um so what is what is the mermaid message for today mermaid message um so you have inner knowing and that's definitely what the high priestess was saying is those feelings of knowing hold on to them and don't let any any kind of conflict tear that down for you okay um 
what else please what else oh my goodness a magic so perhaps you're recognizing that you are a magical being you're a light being you know um we're being taken to this different kind of consciousness um and <clears throat> decisions so know that the things that you're deciding for your life are actually going to take you to a place of um letting things happen receptivity uh free flowing you know um definitely that sense of balance and harmony too with that decision whatever that might be for you letting go of negativity or bad karma or just toxic people okay so i was going to ask what's your angel message okay your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by god and the angels um this is a message for somebody who might be on you know you might have held on to a relationship because you have children with them you didn't want to leave them in fear of them not being protected but it's really god telling you whatever your decision is your family is going to be protected okay for some of you maybe you've lost children and know that they are with god and they're okay okay for whoever that message is um there's really that sense of moving towards having that knowing that you are protected you and your family okay um so see transformation there's really that form of transformation and uh, really going through that metamorphosing state where you're allowing yourself to heal, which is absolutely beautiful, okay? Um, what is the words of love that they need to hear for today? The words of love. So trust. Um, you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. And that's really what this whole reading is about really following that trust and intuition that you you were born with really um and so let me see what is the unicorn message for today the unicorn message what's the unicorn message so um simplicity put your energy into the basics and let go to let go of excess uh and i think somewhere i tapped in there where we're leading we're, we're being led into more of humanitarian state okay caring for others sharing with others it's not so much about money um and definitely yes the answer to your question is a strong yes so keep going family and culture learn more about your family stories and history because we are going back to something simpler guys I'm telling you you're gonna see it um laughter you need a good laugh so when you become innocent like a child um you know really laughing and and just being silly is what helps you to manifest into that new beginning that sense of innocence um so let's see what is the Kuan Yin with this reading to close it off what's the Kuan Yin let me know how you like this reading I definitely feel like it's very you're very close to what you want you know don't give up so let's see here uh it says the quickening the fast track of the Divine Mother moves us rapidly through life's challenges. The road can get, get, can get a bit bumpy when traveling at her accelerated pace. Nor will you often feel that you are in control of the navigation. This is a part of the experience where you are to be moved rapidly with Divine help. Best to you, I'm sorry, best to just hold on to her and trust you'll get where you need to be. And and this is what I was talking about, how things for a long time, they've been stagnant, okay? This is the way I see this reading. A lot of things have been stagnant for you and undecisive, but then all of a sudden things are forming in a fast shape and they're going to form to where you get to that peace and harmony and then all of a sudden it slows down. And that's what I see happening here. So you have to learn to go with the flow, in other words, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And just know that everything's happening for the right reason and in divine timing. So there you go. I hope it, it helps you. I will keep praying for you guys and helping you to manifest what it is that you truly want for yourself. Thank you so much for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me your comments, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.